So, but these are characters, Batman and Shaggy, that don't let you breathe. Um, and we've seen how Leviathan and Sinum just are always on top of their opponents with these two characters specifically. So we're going to have to see how Rose J and Mirror Man adapt to this. Uh, this very aggressive play style where Mirror Man and Rose J can play aggressive, but I would say they're definitely more neutral centric where they look for their openings and get in where so like uh, Sinum and Leviathan, and this isn't a shot at their play style. They are just like, hold forward, beat their asses, you know, <laughs> which I love seeing that. It's so but, sick, dude. Uh, it, it is, you know, it works out for them and they do it in a very smart way, but it's going to be interesting to see how that clashes. Do you even understand? Yeah, you very well, dude. This would be uh, interesting to get into game one here, Sky Platts. Oh, your favorite stage, your favorite background. We're back at it again. I also, have you heard some of the directed taunts that Arya throws at Shaggy? There's, she's such an asshole to him. It's so funny. Why is everyone so mean to, uh, to Shaggy here, dude? It's like, like you just gluttonous no asshole. Like, it's just like, like that. Well, yeah, but also she's just like, what is that? What are those stubbles you call for, uh, like for uh, facial hair? It's like, mm -hmm. whoa, dude, that's not nice. <laughs> definitely not nice. Yeah. Definitely not nice gameplay to see either. Both teams definitely just scrambling it out. Rose J have a lot of damage on him. That's very uh, rough to see, especially against these heavy hitters like this. That's Arya too, but at the same time, Rose J not getting to come off the top. Oh man, but that oh, down air going to do it. The, the forward air into the down air combo, that was sick. Uh, but what was also equally sick is Mirror Man loses his stock as well right after, but Mirror Man follows up. Get the hell out of here. That's a home run, finds it. Uh, evens up the game a little bit, but Leviathan's still hanging on at 93%. Finds himself off stage, able to get back. Rose Jane, Mirror Man, I do like their mindset there, not wanting to go off stage and put themselves in a potentially worse position. Uh, as yeah. I say that, they both immediately jump off stage. <laughs> oh, Rose Jane's barely that works holding out. on. Oh, oh yeah, Rose Jane's not there. holding on Ooh, to dude. anything anymore. Trying to, try to hold on for your dear life, but Leviathan signed him said, nope, get their hand off that ledge, but you're not coming back. Last stock for them in this game one. You're going to catch these hands, and that is scary. Rose Jane's at five weekend. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the scenario you were talking about before, dude. It's definitely something they have to stay cognizant of. Luckily, it doesn't come much of it. Oh, man, Mirror Man's off stage, also at five weekend. That battering perk is so crazy. That's insane for sure. Just like the Uppies are about to be insane. Oh, look at them hunting oh, back in the chase. Oh, God. Sidum and Leviathan. They smell, they smell blood in the water. They were after it. They wanted it. Sidum yeah. picked it up where Rose Jade just jumps off the rocket. Uh, read the dodge, got the up air, or the up special. That's game number one. Great stuff. Yeah, it was amazing coverage by Sidon, by the way. Just covering perfectly, knowing where the dodge will have him end up. That was great. That was great to see. Fantastic set. Fantastic, or not fantastic set. Why do I keep saying set? Fantastic game. <laughs> uh, from Sidon and Leviathan. Uh, that aggression is what I mentioned too, is that it Mirror Man and Rose J definitely felt like they were trying to play neutral where Leviathan and Sinum just said, oh, hell with that. And uh, it worked out in their favor. And uh, they, you know, in their aggressive neutral were able to just find so many openings and make so many amazing plays happen, happen off of it. Their chase is undeniably amazing. Yeah, it, it's so back and forth, but just, yeah, it's just, uh, like we were saying, bro, meta not solve a team like this that just breaks through all the projectiles and says, screw them projectiles, I'm going in. It's definitely working out pretty well for us. Right. Just kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of the, the South Park episode where they're making fun of Inception. Pizza guy shows up. He's like, that's it. I'm going in to deliver this pizza and just follows up. That's those are these uh, side and Leviathan are pizza delivery men. They, that's what they my, are now. That's the weirdest comparison, but I, I get it. I definitely get it. They just want to deliver this pizza. They want to get that W. They want to get. They want to get that big tip. And Rose that's J might it. find them, might find some big tippers, but not quite. Sinum did stack up a lot of damage there, though. He's at 78, 84. What's going on on this right side of the stage? Holy crap! Yeah, Aria putting so much pressure. Batman like a 97 right now. Rose J, so insane with it, dude. I love Rose J, dude. His play is so good. His neutral so good. His pressure is so good. Sinum is running. He does, he's like, I need to get out of here. Reset neutral. Good stuff from him. 
uses that bat grapple. I've been loving his bat grapple usage. A lot of Batman players I see, um, he specifically, uh, maybe rely on it a little too much. Um, and that can put you in a really bad situation. He, though, uses it as a mix-up option and doesn't use it often. Yeah, definitely has, like, a very good hit rate with it, so to speak. Right, and that thing is wacky, too, where you'll try to teleport to someone and it just sends you, like, mm -hmm. two feet in front of you. Yeah, most oh. definitely. Ooh, man, but it looks like Rose Day is going to find himself off stage. It looked like he didn't have any resources there. Leviathan had all of his resources, but that knockback doesn't care about how many resources you have. Lose that stock. Sinum also on the verge of losing this stock at 140. We see Leviathan trying to go in and help him out, but finds himself in a, a bad situation off stage. Yeah, most definitely. A mirror man, a 124 off the stage right now. It's definitely just uh, both of them have a uh, teammate definitely at very high percent struggling to get the kill. Mirror man off the side though, but whoo, out of nowhere, Sinum gets knocked to the flat zone first. I gotta say, I love how uh, top players on the sides, we see a lot of people, um, a lot of kind of mid-level players usually, they'll just immediately start mashing up the side because they're panicking. Uh, I love Leviathan's composure there, just kind of waited, tried to bait out a punish, see if he could get them and like knocked off a of ledge so he can make it up safely. Uh, but was still able to find his way back up! Oh. Leviathan able to find that knee! Mirror Man, what are you doing over there? Oh! oh. What happened? Nah, they was jumping him off the side of that right there, bro. That was ridiculous. I was looking at it, and then all of a sudden, I noticed Mirror Man all the way off to the right. Leviathan noticed at the same time, too. He's just like, all right, come get it. Nah, that was like, sign him in on Leviathan, and then sign him. Leviathan. This was like crazy, dude. That was like, that was a hell of a team combo right there. Great stuff to sign Leviathan. Going up 2-0 from loser's side. And we're sort of seeing what happened in the last set as well, where Rose J and... Mirror Man are just kind of split up in these interactions, not really working together. But to be fair, I don't know if that's necessarily a failure of or an opportunity for more teamwork. I just think like Sinum and Leviathan are doing a really good job of just splitting them up, not letting them work with each other. And ooh, it looks like Rose is considering it. Yeah, he's he's considering it. I think given this team comp, like the the Aria is not really working out. Maybe I, it looks like he is going to stick with Aria. I think maybe his thought process is, okay, let's keep trying this. If it goes into dead ass finals or real grand finals, then let's switch to the Velma. Let's go back to it. You know, let's go back. Let's try Velma in the next set, you know? Yeah, I'm sure Rose just has a lot of faith in their above that team's adaptation ability because definitely just consistently Mirror Man and Rose are just great at you know adapting situations. As we saw like the reverse 3 0 in the last game against uh, Blazing and Too Easy. I definitely can see them sort of, especially come from the winner's side, they're probably just pretty confident they can adjust it. And they're, they adapt on the fly. They're really, like, they, that's that, you know, those fundamentals coming in from both of these players with years of competitive gaming experience, whether that be Beer Man with Team Fortress and uh, Rose J in Melee, and then, of course, both of them in Nickelodeon All-Stars. Um, but we're seeing Rose J off in a really bad position. Oh, he has, a, he, oh, he has no resources. He's dead. Oh my oh, god, he just did it. That's so insane. That was a lot going on, on that left side of the stage. I'm not going to lie to you. There there was a lot going on. Mirror Man not in a good position. It looks like he oh has my his god. Resources burned. <laughs> oh my god. He got kicked. Kicked out. Oh, permanent man. Get out of here. Oh no, Mirror Man. He's off stage once again. I am once again asking you to be off stage. If Sinu and Leviathan just so good, just keeping him in his advantage. You can see how Mirror Man just desperately trying to get down, but just Sinu and Leviathan smelled blood immediately took the stock off that way and going up to pick two of stocks in this game three see, situation. We also see Mirror Man and Rose just not having an answer to this aggression. They just don't know how to combat it. Their characters, it's not even the fact that their characters are bad in scrap situations. It's just, I think right now what we're seeing is Arya needs to win a lot of these scrapping situations to come out on the top. These characters only have to win a couple and they already have dealt so much damage to Arya and Arya is a character that can't not trade. But as I'm saying that, they're finding their way back into this game somehow. Yeah, Mirror Man was ready there to help get the up here. That's kind of what they needed more of those Starks teammates, team work situations where uh, where Jose sets up the layup, Mirror Man gets it off the top. That's definitely sort of the best case scenario they have for themselves. Oh As they get God. another stuck off of Sinum too. Yeah, it's doable. Oh, not if a buy from Sinum down, not me. Just gets off the side. I'm surprised I killed out. That was like a 90%. That looks like 
possibly like bad DI, or maybe he was burned on resources. Because I think, I think what happens, and I could be wrong here. Once you're burned on your resources, you just don't. Go, you're not able to react to anything. So if you're flying off stage, like you can't. You just have to accept it. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I could be wrong, but that definitely looked like it killed really early. And yeah, Rose J. Yeah, that that damage not really working out in your favor. 96. I think when you're when you're looking down at that and you're seeing the amount of damage that Mirror Man and the rest of the team does, you kind of have to go back to the drawing board and maybe just accept the fact that this Aria is just not working. Yeah, most definitely. Good stuff. Signing Leviathan, though. Resetting this bracket, getting it to grander finals, so to speak. Grander finals or dead ass finals, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are getting uh, another set. Mirror Man and Rose J, though they are really good at adapting, especially Mirror Man. I mean, once you got you got it, once he plays enough games, he has that download complete, and it's so hard to win to him. He's like he is the living embodiment of a, an amiibo, where he just figures out he figures out how to play against you. He looks at all of the things you do wrong. He's like, I am never losing to you again, and then it's impossible. Very yeah. much so, dude. He just adjusts so well. Rose J, very similar. One thing we need to see though from rose j is we need to see oh mirror man at, oh H hello mirror man he just muted i'm guessing he's streaming it okay yes he is streaming it what a nice guy thank you mr mirror man if you're streaming we appreciate you now game game one set two blackmore what do you want to see from Mirror Man and Rose J? I've talked uh, enough about it, but I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you think needs to change going into the second set? Um, yeah, I think you covered a lot of it already. Just in general, just finding a way to get around this offense. Maybe um, I definitely see the carry switch from Rose J to maybe the Aria's not working. Maybe just try to get the more of the, the best out of these uh, sort of uh, situations. Because a lot of the times with these situations too, it's they'll get something good going. And then it just gets reversed on them entirely. Like we saw on the left side of that stage within the first like 30 seconds of the game, that was a complete mess too, where it looked like Rose Day just burned some resources way too early, not able to find his way back to the stage. And it looks like we got Rose Jay back here as well. Okay, um, so the request was just like to have uh, us mute their mics on our ends and just have, so they can like, I guess, like talk to each other. Yes, so yeah, so we can do that. Um, that's definitely not a problem. Can't hear you for sure. No, I, I heard it. Uh, I read it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No. So we'll we'll mute you guys. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah, we're all good. I'll, I'll, I'm muting you guys now, so you guys can mute us and just play. Um, if anything pops up, just like shoot a message in commentary chat. I don't know if they've muted us already, so I might be talking to myself here. Um, yeah, keep an eye on that chat just yeah. in case. And then Cree Stab, you may want to, I don't know if you did it on your end already, you may want to mute them as well so stream can't hear them. Uh, yes, stream would have heard them by now. We're all good <laughs> over here. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, So we're getting into this next set. Rose Day looks like he's going to be sticking with it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, the last three games didn't work out too well. So I have my opinions. But, you know, if Rose Day has, you know, if he's confident with this character, I'm excited to see what he can do. It looks like he did switch up some of his uh, perks. I don't know if he's kept these perks the entire time. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's Prepare swapped out a few. Yourself. Definitely for more utility. It seems, yeah, a couple. Uh, there's a couple of dodge um, boosting uh, cooldowns. Um, cooldowns, not uh, perks. I mean, and uh, Mirror Man, I saw has the uh, one where you dodge, you boost the you cooldowns back. I, definitely so good, by the way, to be able to see these perks. Oh my god. Oh yeah, just so you're not guessing. Like, hmm, I wonder what perks they went through. With. Oh man, Rose Shake got himself in a bad situation there. Sinum almost follows up perfectly but not quite. And we're now seeing both of these 
teams in a, a neutral. Uh, where this is the most even that they've gotten off to so far. But as I say that, Leviathan maybe finds himself in a good situation. Mirror Man off stage. <laughs> He's going to get that kill. What was that? Oh my god, just caught him out of the resources, bro. The side B sent him so far out, killed Mirror Man at 56. Oh, dude, like you saw it was the knee right into the kick, and we're seeing it again with Rose Day. No, what are you doing Jeez. over there? Yeah, that's the strength of Shaggy, right? If he gets you these situations, checkmate scenarios, his moves sent so far out, bro. Oh, man, and it's just such a struggle to see how they're. Like, trying to figure out how to deal with this aggression, how to get these kills. That was some great teamwork there, though. Uh, Rose J popped, a, popped uh, Leviathan up with the up air, and then Mirror Man finished it off with the up air of his own. Grand Slam. Um, gonna stem the bleeding a little bit. Yeah. That is going to almost stop the bleeding entirely. We are back at a somewhat even game. You know, Rose J, Mirror Man, uh, 60 plus. Uh, Mirror Man not at 60 plus anymore. They're both did what? They died? I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> they both died to up specials, dude. And yeah, they died insane. at like 60. That's Oh, insane. man. So what happened there? Because I know you said you looked away. I don't know how much you saw, but what happened there? On Chris, that, by the way, the stream's not showing on the stream. It is not showing, yeah. Um, what happened there, though, is... I'll explain what happened to you guys since you guys couldn't see that. Uh, for those last two stocks is... Rose J was up in the air. Mirror Man went to go help Rose J. And in the process, um, Rose J got hit by Batman up B. And then Mirror Man got hit by Shaggy up special. And they and they died at the same time. So really, really unfortunate uh, uh, spacing there. Really just out of position entirely. Rose J, uh, Mirror Man maybe just not respecting the, those up specials enough. Um, I think really the, the game plan they need to follow is just to stay as grounded as possible against this team, but it can be very difficult. Um, so, but what are your thoughts, Black Amari? Like, is the grounded approach, you would say, the better one uh, in this case? Because, like, anytime they go uh, above these characters, they just explode. Yeah, I definitely think just being cautious in the way in is definitely very important for these two. Um, in general, they kind of just kind of need to try to go get those early stocks off as soon as they possibly can. They got a couple that last game, but it was that end that it got away from them. So they can definitely still adjust to it, I feel like. They can't adjust. Now, this is where Leviathan has been scariest when he catches uh, Rose J or Mirror Man in these offstage <laughs> situations. Any players in the offstage situations? Oh, Rose J is going to follow mm -hmm. up with the double dare of his own. Finally, we see Mirror Man and Rose J have a lead for the first time in this set. Yeah, good to see signs of the life. Rose J putting on more percent on them, getting the loops. Safe coverage. That was great for Rose J. Oh, great Rose J. Great follow up for Mirror Man. Not able to find the kill though, but gets some decent damage. Uh, Mirror Man gonna find his way back. Side Noom and Leviathan not in the best positions right now. Uh, but it looks like Mirror Man and Rosier are gonna let them cover back. I like this idea. You don't want to get reversal when you have this big of a lead. Yeah, definitely not. And they got the order up there. Oh my God! Suddenly three zero stock situation right now. Complete obsolescence going on these last games. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these uh, like first couple of those first games that we got. But this is impressive. This is an entirely new team almost that we're seeing. Like the the teamwork is there. Uh, mm -hmm. That grounded approach that we're mentioning, they're respecting that a lot more, trying to avoid getting caught in those really bad situations. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the pie usage come out. Uh, mm -hmm. Grounded rockets, too. As we Ooh. saw there, Ooh, that rocket almost killed. Yeah, honestly. And it's just, yeah, it's very impressive just sort of just seeing the uh, how much they're just like preventing them from getting their wind conditions off the top more, staying a lot more ground, as you said, and just uh, being a lot more cautious. That caution is, is doing dividends, but Rose J is so close to dying there at such an early percent. 74. Gonna find his way back to stage, but does have a stack of weaken on him. Oh, Sinum off the stage. Could this be it for him? Not quite. Rose J not able to find it. Rose J actually loses his stock for that. Maybe overextended just a little too much. Oh man, Sinum. And Leviathan, though, they got to be careful. This is where they shine. They are a really great team from behind. Yeah, you can tell they already even up the, the situation 3-0 to 3-3 right now. It's very doable, but at the same time, he says, Sidon, a lot of damage on him. 
137. Mirror Man trying to get the kill, but oh. Rose J gets it and instead, and they take a game, stop the bleeding a little bit, 1 1 situation. That was a little too close for comfort, honestly. Yeah. Like, we, even though they had such a ginormous Continue. lead early game, Sign and Leviathan oh. almost pulled that back. So, like, Mirror Man and Rose J, if I was them, I'd be sweating a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, just to yeah. just to be that close like if they would have lost that i cannot imagine what that would have done to their mental yeah most definitely it definitely seems like what the uh, mirror man and rosie have to do based on that is just of course you know stay uh cautious stay cognizant of the options and just uh, play a bit more carefully and just slow leviathan and sign him down as much as possible because that's sort of just where they shine the slow grind uh to just get sign and leviathan stocks off and shine they will <laughs> in in this in this hopefully in this game game number three this will be a huge momentum push if if leviathan and sinum take this i think it will be uh it could be a pretty easy game four for them it could be but if mirror man and rose j are able to take this i think that'll give them a huge second wind um to kind of mm -hmm. go into this game for confident because going into game four uh, when you're Let's down you're one, that is today. really hard to come back from, but either of these teams can do it. Absolutely, both of them are very capable. Both of them are putting in a lot of work right now. I was seeing this game three. We're seeing the, the, the neutral play come out, but we've seen this uh, familiar situation one too many times. Rose Jay is in a position he should not be, and he is Whoa. going to pay. Mirror Man is off stage as well. Is he going to pay? He also oh. doesn't have many resources left. He's at 75%. Does make it back, for, but at what cost? Yeah, so scary. Plus, they got the stock off Rose Jay very early. Signing Leviathan, love to see that for them. Rage charge on Shaggy, too. It's looking scary, man. Oh, it's so scary, and they are so low as well, Mirror Man, though. Uh, 84, and even though, I gotta say, even though Rose J is only at 22, any amount of percent that you have on Aria just feels so bad. Like, once you start getting to 40, 50, you're already at almost kill percentage. Uh, a lot of people, specifically I've heard Void mention that she is a little bit of the Pichu of this game, where able mm -hmm. to get those kills early, but if you start going above 50, that's when it, it gets spooky. She's that glass cannon for sure, dude. Hits like a truck, but also gets hit by trucks, too. Get hit by truck. Yeah, a truck that, like, made out of cotton candy that still kills her. But, <clears throat> you know, she does hit like a, she does hit like a truck, though, just for the amount of damage she is Definitely. able to tack mm -hmm. on. Great follow-up from Mirror mm -hmm. Man. You saw that, saw that coordination, like, went with it, the dagger, got the up air, down air. Can't touch this. Dun MC dun Hammer. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> no, no. Yo, this MCM or it's just anytime you down air spike someone, that should just play that little ditty. For real, that <laughs> sounds like a very funny mod idea for sure. But yeah, no, uh, that was definitely great teamwork. From, uh, oh, oh, man, Rose, that was crazy. That would have been insane. That would have been insane, but still, those these up air follow ups are really nuts. Oh man, but Mirror Man and Rose Day, they're so close. They are one stock away, but they gotta mm -hmm. be, they gotta respect this right now because Shaggy has enraged mirror man gets touched by that that'll almost yeah. certainly kill you saw mirror man instantly just sort of back up on the aggressive approach good just realization right there you do not want to get touched by a shaggy with a special move because up there okay. whoa what he didn't die he dude he used the stun <laughs> Yeah, oh. yeah, that took me a while to catch too. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, but the missile, uh, Sainu mm -hmm. positioned himself just above it, knocked him up into the ceiling. Mirror Man, Rose J are one game away from winning this, and what a turnaround, man! Yeah, like what an incredible turnaround from these two to go from getting dominated in that first set. Let's not mince words here. Mm -hmm. Um, to you know, game one looked like it was going to be much of the same, but then these last two games, they've really pulled pulled together. Yeah, it's like you can never count out Mirror Jane and Mirror Man. They're just always, we've shown seen time and time again that they're just ability to adapt. It's so crazy. Also, I gotta say, man, Mirror Man's got so much gold. Yeah, he got like 10k, bro. He, he's swimming in that. He's looking like Scrooge Duck out here. Right? And he also has 2500 Gleamy, and what are you doing with that? <laughs> so apparently, oh he's been um, taking. Uh, friend requests in game for subs on Twitch, which also gives him gold. It's a whole, what? 
it, it's a whole what? thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Hey, that was a thing. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Hey, it's just like, hey, sub to me on Twitch, you'll get a friend's request. I mean, that, fair enough, dude. That's so neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's all I gotta do. Man, I'll be like, hey, I'll sub for free. I don't even need the friend request, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I gotta wait until I gotta wait till Bugs is nerfed. I can't be friends with you until then. Oh my <laughs> god, that's funny. We're uh, getting this, this potential last game this tournament, man. Uh Mirror Man Roger one game away from taking it. They're getting awfully, awfully close. Leviathan and Sinum though, they want this bad. I mean they've been playing out of their minds today. But mm -hmm. maybe Mirror Man and Rose J have just kind of figured out how to combat the uh, combat the aggressive neutral. But yeah, again, dude. oh, you're off stage. I don't. Uh, again, I get so nervous when they go off stage, man. It's just not a good position for them to be in. Yeah, most definitely. They're just both Mirror Man and Rose J are just so great at playing this perfectly in sync with each other, dude. It's pretty crazy. Like they're always there to cover each other, dude. Nearly gets out there too. That probably would have killed Loki. That definitely would have killed. And also, you gotta give it to Sinum as well, right there for a Leviathan trying to follow up, make sure he doesn't get killed. Or if he does, he's able to get a kill of his own. Um, but they're all able to make it out relatively safe. This is not a good position for Rose J to be in. Though. Got popped up. That, I actually think the Bat Bomb there saved him. Yeah, I think so too. It's kind of in the trajectory to get hit by something else, but got blown back. Well, uh, but that nothing's gonna be able to save him from the the tiger uppercut, as I call it. Definitely not. That's so much knockback on that, especially you're that high on the screen. I'll take that stock. Yeah, and uh, Leviathan and Sinum find themselves pretty high percent. Ooh. Sinum will live. Leviathan will not loses that stock, but Sinum, they're gonna write that wrong pretty quickly. They are now up two stocks to one. Mirror Man. At 120 percent, they need to get this stock from him quick. Bugs is so heavy. Why is he living for this long? That's how elusive this baby. The money ain't never dying. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I didn't think, you know, there's always a saying about, like, you know, doing something like rabbits. I didn't know that was dying. Is it dying? <laughs> Maybe. Right? Okay. Oh, well, you know, uh, Sinum, Roger going really deep for that. Oh, gets spiked into the stage, but no follow up. That was a really great co coverage for Mirror Man to save oh. him. A week and 96% on it. That was so scary for Rose J. And we can see they were sharking under Mirror Man. They knew he burned a couple resources, but he's able to make it out relatively mm -hmm. okay. Oh, they're putting oh, so much that's... pressure on Rose J, and that's it. That's not. He would have lived there if he did not have five weekend attached to him. Yeah, that's so crucial for a kid like Arya, dude. It makes her getting those kills on her so much easier for the other team. Makes getting uh, kills easier in general. Or weekend just mm -hmm. so strong. We already see Rose J at at a clean fifty nine percent. Oh, yep. but he's holding on. Yeah, they're just snowballing right now, bro. I don't know if the ball is rolling down the hill again. It looks like it's gaining traction. Oh, it's gaining so much traction here. Oh, Leviathan! Oh, oh wait a minute. Edge guard scenario. Gonna get it? No. Leviathan oh. sneaks back, charging the rage. Definitely scary. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to game five. That was oh, man. okay, Leviathan. You got cojones for <laughs> almost definitely, dude. For going for that rage. That was the cheekiest rage I've seen. I really thought Mirror Man was just going to uh, to bunny hole right okay. up his butt and just send <laughs> send him up to the way. I mean, dude, really? Like, like, you, come on, man. How how else is there to say that? You know? Yeah. <laughs> bunny hole, bunny hole into his hole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bunny um, hole into his his hole indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, game five though. Sinum Leviathan like come crawling back. Like no, this is not how it ends. Not here. Not now. They want a game five. We're going to Sky Arena platforms. This has been an absolute nightmare for for Rose Jane Mirror Man to get so close and just to lose it right at the end, just to, again, getting off of sta stage against this team. You know, and Arya, one of those characters that she does have good mobility, but when she's getting on, trying to get back onto stage, that's where she struggles quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw it time and time again, just whenever they were against the, the wall right there, you know, I saw both Sign and Leviathan trying desperately to swing at her, and a lot of time it worked out. I saw it right there in the end of the last game. 
either way against this game five scenario right now though sky plats is going crazy sky plats you're, we're going back you get the the tried and true a background that everyone is used to <laughs> that almost killed mirror man even though he has five stacks of weaken on it that was scary mm -hmm. and we could see leviathan and sinum are just on top of rose jay not giving him any room to breathe mirror man is trying to come in to help out but it's oh not really God. working out for him oh if that was five stacks a weekend it would have killed yeah there's doing a good job of not letting mirror man get any see <laughs> everybody got pressure on rose jay he just sums in mirror man bro right now that's batman right now is he trying to get the kill dive he doesn't hit he he went deep for it he wants it that's gonna be Ooh. enough though Dino bit off way more than he could chew got so greedy but Leviathan's going to be able to clean up that stock relatively quickly as well. But he is at 102. It doesn't matter. Wow. He's at zero. He's at zero. He's at zero. Oh, oh, my God. God. I'm looking Max back. point. Rose I'm, very mad right now. I'm looking back at the, the, the Twitch stream right now. And you said it earlier today. One thing Arya is good at is getting those early stocks. And mm -hmm. we saw it right there. Sinum, little out of position, dies at 45. A really ill-timed down special using the drop kick doesn't work out for him that was definitely though that's a bit a lot of work done to come back from the situation all mirror man rose needs is one more the second of good oh. damage oh, my man, he gets a kill off the top though they need a couple more though they can't they're definitely very capable getting those early percent stocks though so do not count them out just yet they are very capable rose jay is playing you can see rose jay kind of playing back a little bit he knows yeah. if he goes in too deep he ends up risking throwing this game he's at 41 already oh man and they're also yeah. doing such a good job of letting leviathan not get this rage he really wants it i think you gotta have to forego it you've already taken 91 damage every time you've tried to go for it he's gonna get it this time though but he walked Ooh. right into a dagger oh but the downers are gonna Ooh. come out the rage not gonna be quite enough yeah, Rose in big trouble right now. It's gonna be an even scenario game five who's gonna take this 109 right now Oh, Mirror Man is so close to losing that stock. He is off stage. You are not supposed to be there. Oh, well, Leviathan so is still sure. holding off. He goes for the Nair, not able to find it anything. Oh my God, Rose Jay is stuck with the back pop. Oh, he is. They're trying so hard, trying to shark him right now, but he gets off the, off the top of the stage right now. Both a scary percent of Leviathan. Oh, that's it. Noble. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. They don't get sent anywhere from that. I don't know what happened. 150 on Shaggy. He's living though. Up everyone. That's it. not living though. And Mirror Man and Rose Day are your winners of the CG Multiverses Open Beta Tournament. Oh my goodness. What, <laughs> That was such a nail biter right there, bro. But jeez, Mirror Man, Rose J, squeaked by on that after a lot. And where did Waldo go? <laughs> nah, Mirror Man, Rose J, just narrowly <laughs> to leave by <laughs> with their life intact. Sinum and Leviathan were definitely hunting for that. They were definitely explosive with it. They were still definitely playing. They were keeping up with the game. It was so insane, bro. That set was crazy, bro. Waldo is just dead right now, I guess, bro. So I guess I'm solo casting this. Chris, stop me there, bro. You enjoy that?